Oh, so they actually, wow, this is, this is definitely new. This is really, a really new way of doing it. So they... All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today I have the Bauer 20 volt impact driver from Harbor Freight. If you're new to the channel, I'm some random guy who also happens to be a product design engineer. And what I like to do is tear products apart and analyze uh, exactly how well they are designed and executed to the best of my ability. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around. This is the official design review of the Bauer 20 volt impact driver from Harbor Freight. All right, let's get to it. So I always like to start out with the price to put the design quality into the proper perspective. So just what you're looking at here without the battery is $47.91. All right. So from the outside, uh, it really looks better than something that costs $47. Uh, the finish uh, on the plastic parts is as good as any that I've seen. The the finish on the rubber is pretty good. I gotta say it's not, it's really not rubbery that much. It's it's really harder than I would expect. It's not this this uh pattern, this kind of aged aged pitted metal pattern. It, it does give, give for a really nice feel of friction, but the softness of it really, really is making it slippery. Now it's not oily. It's definitely not oily like some that I've seen. Uh, it's just not, it's just not sticky. So finish on the hard plastic is, is really, really pretty good. Uh, the finish on now let, let's just do the tap test so you guys know exactly what's what plastic softer plastic slash rubber rubber metal rubber metal plastic plastic interesting thing that threaded insert in there is not brass so that is going to corrode uh, quicker it's probably it looks like it's zinc coated so that's going to corrode quicker than than a brass one would brass ones get a nice green coppery patina on them and then they stop corroding so you might think that that brass corrodes because it, it turns color but really that's just the outer oxide layer that is protecting the rest of the the rest of the metal, which is why uh, brass is very common in naval applications, uh, because it, it oxides over and then doesn't doesn't rust anymore or corrode. So, not the not the best feel. Feels strong, but not not the best made. Now this this is really cool. I haven't seen this anywhere. This is a three LED pattern which means that it's going to be you're not you're not really going to have a shadow cast on anything no matter no matter uh, where you're looking from that's the real problem with the one the, when there's only one right here and you're looking from like up here then you see a shadow on what you're looking at but with this if you're looking from from here these two are going to be uh, giving you light directed back in the direction that you're looking uh, and really anywhere, same thing. So that's really nice. Haven't seen it before. There might be some uh, another one that has it, but I just I haven't seen it before. So that's really good, especially again for forty seven dollar price point. This uh, four bolt method I've seen before doesn't really mean anything. Could mean quality. Could mean not quality. Uh, it all depends on how it's executed. So. All right, well, let's get this bad boy apart. All right, so the first thing that jumps out at me is these four screws that hold on the gearbox to the housing are bigger 
and they actually have lock washers, spring spring lock washers on them. So that's just a slight increase in quality over other four bolt designs that I've seen. Okay, let's start with injection molding quality. So, pretty typical, glass filled nylon six, which is a slightly more exp expensive version of your traditional nylon. 30% glass with thermoplastic elastomer TPE for short molded over the top. So this is, this is pretty simple. There's not a whole lot of ribbing really at all to speak of for stiffening. So they didn't go to a lot of effort and you can really feel that. Man, if you could feel this compared to a rigid or a Mo Milwaukee or a Bosch or Hercules, this is really easy to flex, like, like almost, almost kind of toy, toy like, especially, especially like this. Um, so, which would make sense because there's no ribs tying, you know, this corner to this corner, or you know, X pattern or uh, triangulation or uh, spider webs like we saw in the in the Bosch. So really not a lot of design effort, although the, the tooling and execution uh, looks pretty good. There's some, some evidence of, of grinding on the tools there, uh, but overall it looks like pretty decent tool quality. Yeah, and you can see the hex, the hex uh, threaded insert put right there. All right, now onto this. Okay, so the electrical protection assembly is not the worst, but far from the best. So you notice it does have plastic. It has been either pressed in. Yeah, it looks like it's been pressed, pressed in using these uh, these tabs, these terminals, or no, I don't know. That could be over molded because that, yeah, it's with, so these, these tabs have been over molded into this plastic piece because they make a 90, they make a 90 degree out and then down. And so it looks like this plastic with the, uh, metal electrical tabs is a, over molded sub assembly and then the board is set on top of here and soldered as the final assembly uh, and it also doubles as mating the circuit board to this plastic assembly so it does have a, a plastic uh, kind of bumpering mechanism uh, protecting it but it there is no potting whatsoever on this on this board so littlest bit of it might have a conform conformal coating i do see it it's shiny uh but that's definitely not anywhere near the level of uh weather weather protection that you get from potting so mechanically it's it's kind of protected inside of here but but not not from the elements so that's about you know, 50, 50, as far as what I've seen, uh, trigger mechanism, nothing, nothing real interesting there. Uh, although this is one of the few ones that do, do show a part number. Normally when parts show the, their part number, uh, their specs loud and proud, they're normally a little bit better quality than the average. Uh, and I, I, I haven't seen one built quite like that. So that looks looks to be looks to be pretty good quality. All right, so this motor is really run of the a run of the mill, you know, kind of RC car style, sheet metal, sheet metal body, 
internal fan, uh, sheet metal end cap, plastic, plastic brush assembly. Uh, so really not anything special, kind of the same, the same tech that's been in stuff really for decades. Not any, any special motor technology, which makes sense because the, the Bauer brand is, uh, supposed to be, uh, one step down from the Hercules, from what the store employees told me. So, all right, let's see what, what this is all about here. Okay. So this is pretty standard. Yeah. So this is almost basically, uh, this is, uh, this is an old rigid, uh, or old pick, pick your brand that's been around for a while. And this is the, the drivetrain is almost a carbon copy. That's, uh, there you can see the planetary reductions and that's, uh, that's a good size gear. Can't, not going to complain about that. That's, uh, those are, that's some really nice diameter planetary gears. Uh, this is the hammering mechanism. Again, looks like every other hammering mechanism that you've ever seen before. Uh, nylon 6.6, six, most likely. Uh, coupler housing there. And I'm not, not positive how, how that is secured. But you can see some ball bearings up inside the mechanism but basically th this does look well done i mean this isn't this isn't uh you know uh, hyper tough walmart uh, crap quality this is this is all uh kind of saying saying well done for what it is it's not an advanced design it just looks like it's a well done older technology these these brush assemblies uh, look really well done. The stampings look really well done. And again, the it's marking it loud and loud and proud. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah. And then for the so this is this is definitely a, a new new way of doing doing things, running the electrical through the actual hard metal gearbox housing. That is a, something I haven't seen before. So let's see if I can get this off. Oh, so they actually, wow, this is, this is definitely new. This is really a really new way of doing it. So they actually put a circuit board up there to hold the LEDs. And I can't see that that circuit board has any other purpose except to hold the LEDs, to be a, a mounting place for the LEDs. So now that makes sense. Uh, circuit boards are definitely much more expensive. Like having, having to make uh, a separate circuit board is much more expensive than just putting one light without a circuit board, just connected to two wires somewhere in the housing, like, or, you know, some of them have it here, some of them have it here. So that's definitely a notable increase in, in expense that they went to, to get the three light, uh, superior, you know, shatter, shadow pattern. Uh, so kudos to them for like, there's, there's no, they didn't, they didn't really reinvent the wheel and save money at the same time. They just put in the extra expense to make a better light pattern. And, and that's, that's saying something, especially for a cheap brand, like anything from Harbor Freight. And oh, that's pretty Pretty interesting way of covering up that that wire. The T tabs go right into those right there, and then 
Yeah. So, I mean, that's an expensive way to do it, but I don't know that there's a less expensive way of having the three lights because because having the if you had to the labor that it would take for the person assembling this to have to place and hold those things in there while the, the rest of the assembly is put is probably more labor and more hassle than it's worth than to just buy uh, a custom circuit board. I mean, that's really easy. You put, you put three screws in there and then, and then it's done. So the finish on this metal part uh, is definitely new. You can kind of see where the natural metal finish is, where it hasn't been treated. So I believe that is an anodize and you can do really any, any color under the rainbow anodize. You can anodize pink, yellow, lime green. It won't be bright, brilliant, rich colors, but you can make them be the tint of whatever, whatever you pick. And that's what looks like has happened here. Although I'm not, I'm not really sure why why it wouldn't show up everywhere unless the machining process yeah i guess it, it's post machined after the anodize is what it, what it looks like unless that's just a spray yeah maybe it's just a spray coating because it doesn't make sense normally you don't you don't handle parts after they they've been anodized the anodize is normally the final step so it looks like this thing might be put into a fixture that kind of holds it like that and then it's it's coated with something so that yeah I'd be really surprised if that's an anodized now that looking at, at the places where it's not so well that's definitely a, a new I love I love, love opening up assemblies of products and seeing like it's the same thing it's the same product you know over and over again with all the different companies but just seeing it done something done differently is really cool to see from a, a you know design engineer standpoint just just seeing people kind of being creative while improving uh, giving the user better features is is always interesting than just opening up uh, something and, and seeing it being done the same old same old that it's always been and especially for the money I mean seeing some some new new innovations uh, to improve the user experience done for for that amount of money I think is is pretty good and definitely a surprise oh yeah I didn't even mention this so that's pretty cool so they got the LEDs you see these are just surface mount LEDs with uh, kind of as they come it does look like some potting compound has been put over them yeah okay because no the, the, these parts aren't making any kind of a seal protecting that circuit board so they have actually placed like a drop of potting compound clear potting compound over all three three of those leds which is also something i've never seen done before either typically either the whole circuit board is potted or it's conformal coated or, or nothing not uh, not selective location of potting so that's pretty cool and then to kind of uh, these are th this is also something that I don't think has ever been on the channel this is actually making a little bit of a light pipe so in order to get through the thickness of of this rubber piece without having the shadow of that rubber piece the clear plastics like polycarbonate which is probably what this is can actually bring that light and make it seem as though the light source is actually at the very end at the very end of of the clear plastic and so it's it's as if the light is actually emanating from the end of that plastic as opposed to you know emanating emanating from right under under here, which would create a create a shadow with the distance. You know, the farther back the light source is, it's going to create a shadow. So that's pretty cool that they went went to the extra effort instead of just just having those LEDs sitting directly underneath this part. 
they went to that that trouble. And it also makes it look really cool too. It kind of makes it look futuristic when you see uh, that. That looks much more futuristic and and well designed than if you just saw some LEDs on a circuit board right behind right behind that. No, that wouldn't look nearly as good. In fact. See how much worse that looks. Yeah, it people are always surprised with the level of industrial design that goes into just making things look like people expect them to or like they expect quality to. This really doesn't doesn't do anything functional uh except that light pipe it, the, that is helping a little bit, but but really that would just look look really crappy. So all right, guys, that pretty much sums up the Bauer 20 volt impact from Harbor Freight. If you got any questions, shoot them down below. Uh, if you like what, what I did here, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know and let me know why. If you really liked it, uh, give me a subscribe. And so every time I do another one of these, you get uh, in, notified that, uh, that I posted one. So thanks again, guys. I will see y'all next time.